Pastor Warren here. Welcome to another edition of Monday's Art for the Dogs. We're in downtown Palatine, down Smith Street by the row houses, where uh, you'll see one of my favorite things, uh, all this bunting that is adorned by uh, all these condos, uh, celebrating our freedom that we have in this nation. And it's a time where you see this, a uh, time of celebration where we celebrate uh, through getting together with family and friends, having cookouts, going to fireworks, just enjoying the freedom we have in this nation. It also reminds me of baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and maybe all-star games, which are coming up soon, where you see these buntings all over the place. But it's a great time uh, in our lives this week where we kick off this celebration and uh, where we express our freedoms and uh, being thankful for the freedoms that we've been given in this country. And the Apostle Paul warns us in Galatians 5 to be careful about how we utilize our freedoms because sometimes we can express our freedoms in a not so positive way. So Paul reminds us of this through his words. He says, for you are called to freedom, brothers and sisters. He says, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. He says, for the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And here's his warning. He says, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. But I say walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of your flesh. So, friends, make sure that as you celebrate the freedoms that you have in this country and the freedom that you have in Christ, that you love your neighbor as yourself. Use that freedom to build others up and to spread the love of Christ throughout all these celebrations. And when we share the love of Christ, that is something worthy of celebrating and expressing our freedom. So I pray you all have a great Independence Week, a time of celebrating your freedoms. And remember, love your neighbor as yourself. Use your freedom in that way. Well, Copper's pretty, he's pretty relaxed, but I think we're gonna head down the trail. We hope you have a happy Independence Day. God's blessings on your day. Ready to go, Copper? All right, see you all later.